What is going on YouTube? It's Bully bringing y'all a brand new video for you guys today. Now, in today's video, I will be giving y'all five most problematic problems that all Street Fighter players need to fix. Hopefully, these just don't come from experiences when I was actually playing the game or trying to play the game at the highest level possible. This also comes from just watching high level players, intermediate players, and also beginner players. So, without wasting any more time, make sure you all leave a like, subscribe if you are new, hit the notification bell to never miss a video, and let's get straight up into it. So, for the first topic I want to talk about is burnout or bringing and putting yourself into burnout. This is one of the biggest problems because usually when you actually have a move it goes from negative four or whatever it is to plus four frames for example if a sweep is negative 10 now if i do it especially at a certain spacing it's safe no matter what because it will be not only negative six because it's plus four frames to the you know the active frames or, or the frames that is actually negative two but now depending on what moves the other character basically have you cannot punch back putting yourself in burner also allows you to actually get di inside the corner and put you in a predicament to where you have to actually think whether or not you need to waste your super ball or not it also let me your offensive game plan because sometimes on burnout you actually need some type of gauge to just hold your opponent still or hold your opponent at bay but if you do not have bar not only do you struggle getting across the map because dry rush plays a huge part in terms of just playing neutral you cannot parry no more so you are taking chip damage a lot of chip damage depending on the characters that you're actually playing up against for example gal jp you know there's just a zone or if you're playing against somebody like blanca it's very bad because especially when it, when it comes to certain characters they will actually not only drain your bar but then put you in a situation to where you have to guess whether or not you are able to super or not the more and more that i was playing this game and actually competing inside tournaments the way how i actually fixed the burnout problem was i keep myself in check when i was playing rank games now when i'm playing rank games or people that i know high level people that i know because usually I, I try to stray away from like the low level players because i don't want to build bad habits because that's also another problem that i will get into in another video i actually keep myself in check and at bay so i would check myself mid game like i would actually go into this rank game on the attentions of all right avoid burnout at all costs like stay away from it do not put yourself in the orange try to stray away from the orange if you're in a predicament to put yourself in the orange make sure you have another option select to where you are actually able to go through options to make sure you are safe while your drive gauge is recovering now for the next problem we have od anti-air now the reason why the od anti-air plays a big part sometimes is because in the corner you are very limited on od anti-air also it actually puts you in a predicament to where you are close to burnout if you waste two bars two bars out of the six bars like that's one third of the bars like you're closer than burnout than usual if you're just throwing out the od and you don't have like a, a problem with it plus a lot of people do be throwing out od anti-airs for just no reasons at all and they put themselves and burnout and then start complaining about the game the only problem that i have what was like the drive gauge is literally the fact that people could really spam od anti-airs and sometimes even if it don't work or connect it's just the fact that i have to play off the knowledge of like yo they they might actually do it for no reason but the reason why you want to stay away from anti-air with od unless you're in a predicament to where you cannot get hit it's so bad if you're in the corner because it's uh, like 90 i would say 80 90 percent chance is actually going to win somebody actually hit you with a cross cut or something and then you just don't know also you using two balls out of the six balls for no reason if you're not threatened if you are threatened then that's when you actually know when to use the od bar or od uh anti-air but if you are not threatened depending on the situation like please please i pray to y'all do not be throwing it out because once i get shimmy depending on the player you will be getting put down the way how i fix this i'm trying to get used to like anti-air a lot but the way how i fix this is like i said i just keep myself in check just to try not to you know over the uh anti-air automatically or just dp as a whole you know it, it, it just takes time it's not going to be quick it's not going to be like first two days and well maybe it is because some problems that i actually stop myself doing like the first two days or one two days but you have to actually go inside games and play people focusing on some of these problems to get it fixed now my next thing is walking yourself in the corner the reason why this is like in third or not first or second is because sometimes putting yourself in a corner is usually just because you are scared is either you scared you don't have a solution you not having a solution is you having a lack of knowledge like not in a bad way like everybody just figure out some way or something that actually do to stop themselves from being put inside the corner walking yourself in the corner is bad especially depending on the characters for example candy like at any moment i could really dive kick you and to grab the shimmy the walk speeds or like jerry like it, there's a lot of things that are going to play it could really just di you and me throwing out drop impact put you in the corner i get a i get a save jump off of it corner is one of the 
the most dangerous things because you have to guess a lot and you don't really have much room to like really guess so it's very difficult especially if you do not have a dp or something like the corner is very devious the way how i actually was fixing this and toning this up was corner i would have something that i would get into or the problem that i would get into next but i would basically just chill like i would chill in the corner and just find out a solution if i didn't know the character i would actually go watch videos or, or go train and lab and try to figure out what is the problem that i'm actually having here while i got in the corner what move put me in the corner and why i was so scared to actually make an object so like out the corner i will be making a video on that on how to actually lab that out so make sure y'all y'all gotta subscribe and hit the notification because i'm always putting y'all on gym but for the next problem this problem actually ties into all the other problems and it's patience and discipline what i have noticed in terms of me just playing fighting games at a high level or just learning fighting games for like the actual first time before it was just doing combos and just learning and just playing at like above average with no knowledge or like playing good with no knowledge i actually started learning that patience and discipline plays a long way when it comes to these fighting games i'm used to having i, I could switch off from playing aggressive and patience and discipline when it comes to like playing card depending on like what we're doing like if i'm in the tournament or not but that's because i have confidence and i have knowledge and my gun skill would basically carry me all the way meanwhile on this is not really like you're, you're playing fully one-on-one -on -one. like you have to worry about the mental stacks your your tunnel vision and on something else like, it's so many mental stacks inside street fighter 6 and i had to learn patience and discipline patience and discipline actually helped me stand my ground in some predicaments so when i'm even stand my ground i mean like basically not allow them to cover more space than what they need or walking myself in the corner you see how that works if I have patience and discipline, I'm actually going to stand still and play rockets. I don't know what play rockets. It's basically just stand there. I'm, I'm going to analyze. Oh, I'm going to try to make you actually whiff a button and then put you in the corner myself. But it's very weird like how this really is, but it's sort of like the mental stack. But the patience and discipline actually goes a big way when it comes to learning this fighting game. The only way I was actually able to learn that, like I said, when I play against people, even though I, I even though I am getting mixed right now, I'm going to wait. Try to figure something out. I'm going to keep playing and playing and playing and playing, playing that character. Or if it's a friend or if it's ring, I'm going to go outside the lab etc but i'm gonna play and then when i get hit by that i'm gonna try to figure out as you're hitting me like okay he could go for a grab here i know for a fact that if she was to do the safe jump like how chun Li was to actually do a safe jump i think of like the level two i know it's, it's block high and i'm able to react to low so it's block high i'm able to react to low if she go low and she just stop i know for a fact i'm chilling but block high the moment her feet touch the ground go low go low and then if while i'm focusing on that i know for a fact if i see any grab animation i'm able to grab you know that's just things that you have to actually learn patience and just not yourself up when it actually comes to stopping the offense and stopping the mental stack now so far we have covered patience and discipline walk yourself in the corner od as anti-air because you should not be spamming it and burnout and for the last thing we have meaties now meaties plays a big part inside every single fighting game because if you are known to press a button if somebody hits you with a meaty especially on wake up it is a free punish especially inside street fighter to where it actually change the frames and you're actually able to go into other combos to where you're actually able to do more damage you know what i mean also, a lot of people use meaties a different way. For example, can we? I have a meaty. I'm able to meet you with stand medium punch. I'm able to actually meet you with uh, a crouch at heavy punch. I'm able to meet you off a knockdown with like a dive kick to hit your knee or hit your, your ankle. I'm able to meet you with a lot of options. You have to find out what options you are able to actually use when it comes to meaties. That just comes with character gods and watching other players use certain buttons. But meaties will actually put you in a predicament to where you know that if your person is blocking or not, if they're going to go for od and you just play off of it so i'm gonna give you an example you know or how i not only fix it how i learn meaties but i'm gonna give you an example of how i see meaties there have been games multiple games on um, multiple times to where if you actually look on my channel and look at the gameplay of me actually playing street fighter to where i actually started using meaties meaties allow me to actually get the information that i need for example if i know every single time i run up for a meaty or i drive rush it's a meaty they're going to try to perfect parry i know for a fact i'm just going to drive rush and then i'm going to grab them every time i'm going for a meaty it's like they're going to choose an option to actually uh you know dp or something i know for a fact when i hit that knockdown i'm gonna go into a safe a safe with like a safe thing of using lights i'm gonna actually make a video on that and then i will actually punish them for making that wrong mistake but if i know that they're parrying i'm gonna grab if i know that they're gonna od i know for a fact I'm, I'm going to just automatically just punish them and do my max damage combo if people are used to the meaties and they're actually trying to grab me out of like the meaty because usually you know you strike though with the meaty i'm actually gonna be in a predicament to where i'm gonna hit them with the meaty boom and then i'm going to shimmy them that's three options right there to where your opponent will absolutely be cruised or you can hit somebody with a meaty and then the item their brain will go into stun plus using meaties actually make you plus so if you do actually hit the combo or hit the thing like i said it changes the frames 
uh counter attack you get like plus whatever frames and you are able to go into other combos if you really want to implement me's inside your gameplay like i said y'all want to watch videos that's how i fix the watch videos and go outside the lab so that way i know the timing of all my other meaties and without wasting any more time like i said do not waste time make sure you all leave a like subscribe if you are new hit the notification bell to so never miss one of my videos i got so many videos planned for y'all but other than that i will catch y'all in the next one in the next one and then in that next one i'm out enjoy your day peace